I'm not gonna say Up is the best Pixar movie of all time. I'm not gonna say it's like an absolute masterpiece, but I really like it. It has good, good stuff and good messages in it. Okay, well, Thermal doesn't hate Wally. He just thinks it's yeah. not S tier. I make myself a snack, but there's no time. Also, like. I can understand someone thinking Luca's mid or not clicking with it, but despising it, like hating Luca, that is insane to me. Like, I can understand if Thermal's just like, eh, it's not for me. But like, despising it seems so off. Uh, there's go. It's a charming movie. It's it's fun. It's not for everyone. I can say I can see if you would say eh, it's not for me. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. Also, you hate turning red. You're not even the target target demographic for turning red. So like, why do you say it's a bad movie when you're not even the target audience? Like, I don't know. Your opinions are strange, Thermal. That's all I'll say. After rewatching uh, two movies, <laughs> I think Cars 2 is better than one. Turning Red is not bad! It's not! Yeah, we can all have opinions. But I think I think the big thing is that you cannot like a movie but still think it's a good movie for some people. Like, I don't like Lion King. I I can see that Lion King is a good movie. Like, it is a well-made movie and it has good things to it. It's just not for me. And like Cars 1, it's not for me, but I still like it. It's still a good movie. Like, I think there's a difference between I personally don't like it and I think it's a badly made movie. And to be honest, I think every Pixar movie is well made. Like, especially animation-wise, they're all well made, but story-wise, most of them are, like, really good and have, like, some sort of deeper emotional meaning to them. And the thing is, like, it's hard for me to hate a movie. Like, it is hard for me to absolutely hate and think a movie is terrible. Because, like, I, don't know, I feel like I'm kind of optimistic and I'm like, I can see good in almost any type of media. Like, I can see good things in this movie or that movie or this game or that game. I don't know. I'm not too- I'm not that much of a critic. I'm more of a- I just kind of enjoy everything and can find good things and everything and yeah, there's some things that are annoying, but those don't bother me too much. Like, it's super rare for me to put anything in F tier, media-wise. That's not a movie, Thermal! That's a game! Also, I haven't played that, so like, if I do play that, I may share that opinion. Oh, actually, the one game I can put in F tier is the up game. Not the movie, but the game. That game is trash. Well, I know that, Lance, but you're... You are... You are... That is an unpopular opinion. Y'all are just a bunch of haters. You hate Luca, you hate Up, you hate... Just hate things too much. Forky is trash.
Yes? I already solved the challenge. Hey, up as much as you love middle aged women. Both are valid opinions to have. I don't agree with either. Or I don't share those opinions. But you do, you, Lance. Texas or something. Nice gold. Nice. K sock. I didn't get it. I think I figured it out. I think I was just... I think the setup is slightly more precise and I slightly misunderstood the setup and I just need to take a slight bit more time with it.
Why did you aim to the right? It's not what I asked you to do. I asked you to do that. Well. Okay, don't warp, warp to the yellow one. Warp to the silver one. No, warp to the gold one, not the silver one. Okay, this isn't going to be a gold buy. I'm going to save a lot of time here. forgot to split there. God, it's so hard to split in this game. Splitting in this game is so annoying. Because one, sometimes I forget to split, and then two, the places to split are so small and, like, there's such small windows to split at, and, like, they're really precise, and I just don't like it. Splitting in this game is hard. Hey, can you, like, get up here? I'm not that kind of split. A visual audio splitter would also be really hard for this game. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't really be practical. Maybe if we're like smart or something, but I'm not smart. I mean, if I had a foot pedal, it might be easier, but I crossed my legs in my chair, so I can't really use a foot pedal. Peace. In certain fields, like with coding and stuff. I know there's some auto splitters that and load removers that actually uh, for console games that actually like take the code from the game like and like remotely connect to your computer. Right like I know for Jet Set Radio ready. Future, you can actually connect your Xbox to Ethernet, and with a modded version of the game, it actually um, will like connect to it and read the code from the game do the auto splitting load and moving, which is super cool and like, um, like, so, I didn't even know that was possible. Like, when I learned about that, that's like, oh my god, that's amazing. Then also, I think one of the Ratchet and Clank games on PS3 does a similar thing. Let's go, Patrick. Let's go. Why is the head all the way head. over there? What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Yeah. 
boss battles are not over there. Why are you over there? Boss battles in this game are super long and annoying, which is why we skipped two of them. You get commentary from Mr. Bikini Bottom. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. Yeah, go. Ouch. Stop slapping me. Stop slapping me in the ass. Close line move. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying match. Smack <laughs> Patrick's <laughs> Smack Patrick's ass. Smack Patrick's ass. <laughs> Yeah, not the greatest, but I'll take it. The old clothesline move hasn't been used since the 70s. there. rushing it.
me a little more. I didn't fucking butcher that first throw for so long. I wasted so much time trying to get that done. Uh, it's okay, it's fine. It's just stupid is all. I don't know why I'm struggling with this, but I've never struggled with it before. Wow, I have a lot of shinies already. I'm already at 40. I'm usually at like 30 by now. Cool. I lost all of my time save. Here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So that's So that's So that's So that's quality craftsmanship that is Come again So that's So that's also exclamation point crab or crabs. So there we go.
Drinking game, take a shot whenever Mr. Krabs says so that. You take a total of, of seven shots or eight shots. How many spatulas are in each level? I forget. Or how many do you buy from him? I think eight. The Mermelair. Squidward. Excuse me. Also, we can definitely climb out of red. I have time save elsewhere. Yeah. I mean, best possible time is still 111. And I can probably gold some of the cruise boost levels if things don't go awful. Oh, and I have a minute three time save here. I don't know from what. Probably the slide jump coming up. Which I did work on and improved a little. Or got more consistent at. Ah. Oh, and also maybe security time. Gotta stay on there for longer. There we go. Well, the security. Yeah, this should be a gold. Nice. 
go. Welcome to the Oh it's boost We brought the run back. Goo Lagoon 2 was just awful because SBA is a trash trick. It's a trash trick. Sand mountains. Tr trash? Forky from Toy 4? Trash? I'm not sure what my most fun game is, or the most fun I've ever had. Uh, I think, I don't know, my top three favorite speed games in no particular order, Inside Out, Toy 3, and Toy 2 are my three favorite speedruns. Not in that order, just there's no order, those are like my top three. It's hard to pick a favorite. Honestly, maybe Inside Out would be my favorite just because it's my favorite movie and also it's a really fun run and also I kind of developed that run from scratch or I, I, I pioneered that run. Like, I found a lot of the early- I found a lot of the early strats, I was the first person to really run that game and grind it and find a bunch of strats and kind of try to optimize it. So that'd probably be my favorite, just for those reasons, just like, to run the IP I neared and really kind of found a lot of strats for and optimized, and also, it's my favorite movie. Let's face my favorite movie. Ah, come on. Great 
barrier reef. Look at that. The robots made, made himself, himself dizzy. dizzy. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Love going to the Great Barrier Reef. Stop doing it! God. The robot better change tactics. Tactics and iron fast. We were just there when we were playing Finding Nemo. The Great Barrier Reef, I think. Go to Sydney, Australia. Oh, and the robot is down. Oh, what is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? Oh, you're from Australia? I didn't actually realize that. Go see dough and around you go. Oh, that oh come on. That's so dumb. that health. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. Oh, that was a doozy. Sandy will become a banana split after another one of those. In the fight. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Great Barrier Reef. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Was that a goal? That was awful. I'm... That was so bad.
Okay, made it. Good. I'm not gonna go for the stupid strat here. Not really worth it for me right now. And this, I know this can gold without it, or it might Bust be able to gold. Bag. Fish to jamming out with his headphones. Yeah, for real. Yeah, this will gold. I'm 
Bust down to 107 now. Maybe I can... power. Good. We're going that front. Pretty good. That was That wasn't so hard. Say hello, my little bubble friend. Oh! <laughs> 
There we go. Should have restarted sooner. Yeah, first try on the second reload. Nope. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. There we go. How does one find this? I don't know, I'm not the one who found them. Just start running this game. I go here. Town big Why didn't I bowl there? That should have been gold. What? Dude, the first part went so well. It's just that part failed a billion times. <sighs> it's okay. Oh. 
this one. First part went amazingly. It's just the second part failed like a billion times. Got the that that for once. Here we are in Well done, son. Maybe pretty nice gold. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. a lot of time safe here from the stupid death. Thank you. 
I mean, just to play it safe, I'm gonna get rid of my cruise boost. Squidward! Why did I die? Then why, swear to God, if you keep answering my obvious questions, I will ban you. I did it with the cruise boost. I I didn't do that last time, but I've learned it since. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to do this with the cruise boost. Because it's faster. Ahoy! It's just slightly scary. That's really good. Alright. Fire at will! As long as this boss debug trigger goes well, this is gonna be a massive goal for Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Oh, I also still have the goo tanker one to do. But I like saving that one for last because it's fun. Getting the cruise boost is going pretty well. What did we do? Why are we firing cannons at him? What did Will do? Why are we firing cannons at Will? <laughs> Hopefully I don't die here. What did Will do?
I don't speak Italian. I don't speak Italian. Massive gold. Yes, but they don't serve love. And here we are, folks, the main event. A gauntlet of every increasing ferocity. And the robot is down. The robot better change tactics and fast. First try! Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot? That was brain? awesome, I got that first try. Oh, the humanity! Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot's brain? Oh! Close encounters of the painful kind! The painful kind! kind. Gonna be uh low to mid one oh nine. Let's go! 109.14! Not too bad. That was such a massive Flying Dutchman Graveyard Gold. Also, Kelp Forest Gold, Rock Bottom Gold. I should have gotten a Downtown Bikini Bottom Gold, but the stupid, um... The stupid grabbing the spatula at the end. Like, I even got on the platform and tried to bowl out and get rid of my cruise boost, but I bashed instead. But yeah, rock bottom gold, jellyfish gold. SpongeBob, you That's gold. 109. What? Hey. What do you do? Hey, buddy. Huh? All my plans ruined. All right. That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer.